Hi guys, welcome to this month's video blog. My name is Matt. As a self-builder, you'll be making decisions on every aspect of your build project. These are our top 10 tips if you're considering a smart home. Consider where your central distribution board is going to be in the house. Your mini server is the brain of your smart home, so allow enough space for this and any extensions you may need. You may not be installing solar panels on the initial stage of the build, but if you have the conduit in place, you can make sure you're ready for anything you may decide to add in the future. Think about switch locations. By the door is the obvious space, but don't let that be the limit. You can think about putting switches above worktops or by desks, anywhere where it might be useful. As we stretch our home networks more and more, it's important to enlist the services of a skilled professional to make sure that your home network is going to be solid and reliable. We wouldn't necessarily advise taking control of every socket in the house, but some sockets it may make sense to do so. For example, if you had a device where you want to make sure it's not going to be left on standby when you're not at home, this is probably a good socket to consider. It's important to consider the cabling of your new smart home. We advise using CAT7 for things like light switches, motion sensors and temperature sensors. You may not have an electric car just yet, but they're certainly becoming more and more popular. Designing the right conduit runs at the early stages of the build gives you the option to add a car charger. Don't forget about the garden. It may just be a muddy wasteland full of diggers at the moment, but one day you might want a nice lawn and a patio. So if you want to light your garden, think about pulling cables for your outside lighting. Uh, and if you wanted to listen to music on your patio, think about speaker cables in the right location. Sensors are essential for every smart home. Make sure you consider things like motion sensors, temperature sensors, and window and door contacts. This will give you a really useful level of automation. It's important that you work with a trained smart home professional. We have a network of locks on partners around the country who are able to assist you with everything from design, installation, programming, and maintenance of your project. So get in touch with us today to find out more. Thanks for watching.